Our next vlogger, Thomas, invented Ed Aid. It's like a Kickstarter project for your college fund. And this is a good thing because college can be crazy expensive these days. Thomas, welcome. Um, if I want to start my own Ed Aid, uh, where do I start? Really simply, you go to edaid.com and then you create your profile. Uh, you launch the appeal, so you want to raise uh, 5,000 euros to pay for your university degree. You then push that appeal out to your friends and your family, and they're able to make a small investment in your future. Uh, we gather up all those small investments, typically around um, 80 euros per person, and then we transfer those to you as one loan so that you can pay for university. The key difference is that uh, we don't charge any interest charges, and so it's much cheaper for you to study at university. And it's mostly um, family members and parents pitching in, but can also people from like a, a third party pitching in your education? Absolutely. So what we see is that the, the, when we build our prototype last year was that the first round is typically friends and family. And then it's kind of other extended friends and friends of friends via social media on Facebook and Twitter. And then those people that create the most kind of engaging videos, there's a bit of virality. And so you often get strangers or perhaps if you're studying a niche subject like child psychology, then you get people that are actually interested in the academic uh, thought leadership of that, that are willing to try and boost that area of education. And why is it so important to have a platform like this? I, th I think, listen, uh, a good education is um, is uh, uh, worth investing in, but it shouldn't be a punishment that we that we kind of straddle subsequent generations with for, for 20, 30 years. At the moment, we have in, in the UK and US students paying off their student loans from their pension payments 40 years after they graduated. Okay, well, wow, well, thank you for sharing this uh, amazing platform with us, Thomas. And for you guys at home, if you haven't liked our Facebook yet, make sure to do it.